What's up guys, Scott here, and one thing I've probably done in the past 16 years of making music more than anything else is program drums. You see, back when I started writing MIDI and working on music, uh, things like Drum Kit from Hell, Easy Drummer, Superior Drummer, Addictive Drums, these things, these amazing, amazing things did not exist yet. But what also did not exist were loads of huge MIDI libraries where people took the time to make these awesome grooves and humanize them for you where you could just open up the library, look at what you like, listen to it, and drag and drop and create a song. So now that you know that, and now that you know that I've been doing this for 16 years, I'm literally going to give you the secret to making your tom sound realistic. Now, other than producers who work with drum software on a daily basis, most people are none the wiser when it comes to songs that have fake drums on them. However, one thing that is typically a dead giveaway that the drums are programmed are the tom rolls. Why is this? Well, generally, the folks who programmed them left them all at 127 velocity, leaving you with a machine gun kick drum, a machine gun snare drum, and then machine gun toms. All of that together is a recipe for disaster because our brains can understand, okay, something isn't quite right here. So in order to fix that, you need to manually set the velocity settings of your toms to how a drummer would actually play them. Now, being that I'm a drummer, and I'm a metal drummer actually, I have a bit of insight in how this works. First and foremost, get rid of the 127 velocity brick wall. Uh, that might sound sweet on a kick, but not on toms. Secondly, no two tom hits should be the same velocity setting, especially consecutive hits. Thirdly, as the fill goes on, and the longer it gets, the velocity setting should decrease slightly as real humans playing drums will generally lose a little bit of steam near the end of their fills. I'm not saying that you should start your fill at 120 and end at zero, that's dumb. But what I am saying is that you should work with this kind of pattern in mind. Lastly, if you have tom parts where the two toms are supposed to hit together, you should space them out by a few milliseconds because even the best drum in the world does not hit two things exactly at the same time. Uh, and trust me, doing this will give the added realism to your tom parts. So let's check out some tom fills that I wrote here and I'll show you what I mean. I'm just going to go ahead and edit these velocities and play around with them and you'll hear the result in the end.
So as you heard, there's a huge difference here. This may seem like a ton of work, you know, and, I, and I'm going to say this a lot, but if you're not willing to put in the extra work, especially with programmed drums because they need them, your song is going to suck. Or at the very least, it'll suffer a lot. Because drums are literally the heart of a song, the heart of a mix, followed closely by bass. Everyone says it's all about vocals, it's all about vocals, 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 blah, 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 blah. But if you have great vocals but a crappy drum sound, you're going to have a crappy song. So you really need to put the time into this. In the beginning of the video, I said I was going to show you the secret weapon. Well, this is the secret weapon. Spending a lot of time and manually doing it by hand. That's the secret weapon. I personally don't use any pre-written MIDI groups or anything like that because I just don't want to. Uh, I always write every single drum hit with a single mouse click at a time, just the way I've been doing it since I started in Cakewalk Pro Audio 9 in year 2000. And it's just the way I prefer doing things, and it probably won't change. Anyway, guys, that does it for this video. I hope now that your drum parts will take on an extra bit of realism now that you know exactly what you need to do to make them sound real. If the video was helpful for you, a like rating is always appreciated. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, because videos just like this one are always on the way. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good one.